Hello again everyone and welcome back again for another video. I got another case for us to take a look at today. This one was sent over to me by Zalman. Um, I like Zalman um, CPU coolers. I've actually used those for many, many years, probably for over 20 years now. Uh, pretty committed to them actually uh, in a lot of ways for a lot of applications. But anyways, um, I don't think I've ever built in a Zalman case before. So uh, here's what it came in. It's a pretty big box. It's a pretty big case. I didn't really uh, get to research too much on it before it got sent to me. This is actually kind of sent to me on a whim. But uh, let's go to the screen here, talk about it real quick, and then we'll uh, unbox this and take a look at this and see how, what we got. And then we'll uh, do a build in it. Hold on. Okay, to start out with, uh, the case retails, it looks like, for 119 on Amazon. I'll leave a link to this uh, when the video's done. It'll be down in the description there. $119. Bucks. Uh, so it's not a cheap case uh, by any means. So what are we going to get with our $119? Uh, well, just looking at the first picture, you can see it's got some venting in the back here or on the side there, that right-hand side. So it looks like we can get some fans there. Um, scrolling down in the description, it says that it supports 11 fans max. You can see how that configuration would go there. So you can get a couple on the bottom, a couple back there, three, three. Uh, that's, that's pretty decent. Decent radiator support. Look at You go 360 on top, 360 on the, on the sides there. Uh, yeah, I, I, I'm not sure if, uh, you can get a 240 right here on this, uh, midsection in the back. I'm not going to try, but maybe you can, but. You can see this will actually take an EATX board. I guess that would explain why this damn thing was so huge when they sent it to me. Um, didn't really see too much on it. Looks like it comes with an ARGB uh, controller on it. Six pin or six ports on there. Three pin, five volt stuff. And it says it has four pre-installed fans. So, okay, all right. Four pre-installed fans and RGB. And it's got some kind of dust filter, full mesh, tempered glass. I'm not sure what we're looking at here. So it's got tempered glass to mesh. I don't know. I guess we'll find out when we open it. I, I didn't really see too much here on the uh, front I.O. port, top I.O. port. So I actually went over to Zalman's website and found an image of it and zoomed in on it. And uh, right there, this kind of caught my attention. Um you'll notice that it's got two USB 3.0 ports on top and a USB type C, no USB 2.0. I like that. I really do. And that's, this is kind of one of those things I've been bitching that I always thought that they should switch to is just eliminate USB 2.0 and, uh, just go 2.0, uh, you know, 3.0 and type c and that's what they did here and i'm liking that now you can see that there's also of course you know the power and reset button and there's an led button and they separate that and i like this too i like that they did this they separated the led button all the way back here so it's not right next to here on these buttons so there's no confusion in case you're reaching up on your case uh like say to change a lighting effect there's no confusion i like that that's a, that's a really nice touch there uh, that was just in the pictures that I seen on, uh, Zalman's website. And I leave a link to that too, if I remember, but, uh, yeah, it looks like it's got some kind of filtration system in here. Now I did look on, uh, YouTube, see if anybody else has covered this. Um, I see a few videos here that reference the Zalman Z10 and they're all like in a different language. Well, I guess this one's in English, but I can't understand a fucking thing this dude's even saying. Um, but <laughs> so, I mean, but other than that, I, I don't see any other information on the Z10. So it looks like, uh, I got a lot of weight on my shoulders here to, uh, handle when it comes to talking about this case here. So let me, uh, quit shit talking here, uh, cut this scene, cut open this box and let's take a look at this case. All right. So I got it stripped down here on top of the desk and, uh, I popped off that front bezel and, and right away I was kind of flabbergasted. I'm like, wow, what's this? And, and, and so check this out. These are actually 140 millimeter fans. These aren't 120s. 
they're 140. So you actually get three uh, 140s in the front there. And that back one is a 120, it looks like. I was kind of stunned. I, I, I wasn't really expecting that. Nice touch. And I would have been really, really excited about that, except for one thing. I look in the back here, and what do I see? Molex, four of them. So, obviously, these three fans and that back fan there are all run on Molex. <laughs> you almost had me, Zalman. You almost had me. And, and, and this is kind of irritating, considering Zalman is known for their cooling solutions. You would think they would have uh, thrown something, at least maybe with three pins on it. You know, PWM, is, is I guess, is asking too much. I mean, it's a $120 case, and you're going to give me Molex. <laughs> uh, it's, but, all right, let, let, let's carry on here. That, that was uh, the first, I guess it would be a gripe about this case, Molex. All right, but anyways, um, it does, though, come with this VGA support bracket, which is all right, you know, for your VGA card. That's kind of cool. Um comes with your manual down here uh you know with instructions in it right there uh here's your rgb controller now this is weird now even though this does have molex i don't think i've ever really seen this too often where it has molex for the fans themselves but for the rgb it does have the addressable uh five volt three pin and that just kind of daisy chains together there it's kind of hard to see i actually untangled it a little bit but yeah these three front ones are daisy chained together and this back one here is daisy chained right there on this part of the controller so i can get four more fans in there however i want to do that anyways continuing on with the back um we got our hard drive cage down there it is removable and you can actually move it back ways a little bit if you want we have got two ssd uh things here that'll pop right up and out we have got tons of mounting points here let's see i've got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven let's see ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen mounting points there all the way around the board and then right around the perimeter here there's two two a couple up here a couple up there lots and lots of places to uh tie down cables and what have you and do some cable management now i would imagine you'd want to do that uh and kind of keep it all clear and open here if you plan on putting a couple fans right here let's let's flip this around here real quick Stuff that in there so using wires. Let's flip that around here real quick. Um, so yeah, I, it, and it does look like I bet. Let's focus here a little bit. Looks like you probably could get a radiator there if you tried. So I mean, maybe if you want to do like something on top, something right there, and exhaust it out that way, you could do something like that. That would be pretty neat. Uh, something to consider so yeah i mean if you got like a, a, a radiator for your uh, gpu you could absolutely you know pipe it down there run it through there run your radiator for your cpu there yeah that would work out great uh lots and lots of room in this i think this i can't remember what was the the measurement was on this i think it was like 400 in some centimeters of width. I mean, you can get a huge graphic card in there. I mean, do I got, what do I got? Here we go. Here's a GT 1070, you know, big old 1070 here. You can see we can get that in there, no problem. This is a EVGA 1070 FTW for the win. And so to give you an idea of how big that is. And this, this like I said, in the, uh, description there you could fit an atx board in here and uh it looks like an atx would probably 
pass over the uh, grommet holes, grommets, another thing to mention that it does have grommets. It's got five of them. It's got three on the bottom and uh, two on the side there to, to hide your wiring. I like this. I, I like this case a lot. Let's take a look at this back here. Looks like on the um, PCI slots here, they're, they're removables and there is no uh, bar in the, you know, in between there to space them. So this whole thing can remove. So if I wanted to, I could uh, go ahead and easily do a vertical mountain here too. So this, this case has got a lot to offer. Uh, just doing an initial evaluation of this so far. That's just, this is pretty nice. Um, let's see. Got our window down there. As you can see, there's a couple screw holes here where we can get our fans in right here if we want. Yeah, I mean, 11 fans, no problem, no sweat. You can see that they're going to fit in there. Now, my question um, is how much gap are we going to have um, right up in here uh, in the back spot there? But look at this. There's like three slot things there for screwing fans down but only one up on top there i wonder what size those are wow interesting interesting um yeah let's let's take a look at the back here flip it around here um flip that focus as you can see the power supply is reversible you can go top mount bottom mount uh we'll probably go top mount with the fan in this one i prefer to go fan up uh, whenever I get the chance to, if there's the vent things for it. So I like that. This case is really nice. Oh, man. You know, if I had more time, I'd probably paint this white. It, I wonder if they're going to offer this, like, in a different color besides black. I mean, you know, I, I have no problem with black in general, but I kind of like the white builds. But, yeah, I mean, if this thing came in black, or in white, I'm sorry, um, this would be really really nice to do a build in and uh you can get a pretty good size gp oh wow this is this is gonna be fun but uh so i mean you know 120 bucks that's i i think you're getting a good deal there especially like with that top aio that i talked about earlier all usb3 um like i said though i don't like that this is Molex on those front, but you know what? We'll try them out. We'll see how they uh, sound. So that's four fans there, six in the back. I wonder how I'm gonna do that. I mean, I'm just kind of thinking to myself out loud um, that you can do 11 fans in here. Do I want to do 11 fans in here? I don't know. But uh, tell you what, let me cut this scene, and uh, well, I'll go get the board that I'm gonna put in here, and uh, we'll start doing a build in this and uh we'll talk about that as we go along so i figured since i recently upgraded my own personal computer uh this was a great excuse for me to throw my old motherboard into a different build and sell it off and this case actually happened to be a great choice for this so as you can see um i got my old board in here this is a uh, msi x470 gaming plus that we are working with here today um so I'll, i'm looking at my old board and i'm thinking you know this this has got like a you know a red and a black uh going on here so i'm <laughs> thinking i'm gonna go with the kind of a red and a black uh kind of theme here on this build um i've got some temporary uh cable extensions and this is some blue and white stuff i mean i've got uh pink and white i've got blue and white i've got some orange stuff but i don't have any red so i had to order uh some red extensions and i got those coming in uh those should be here soon um also this case remember like i had said it has the usb-c up on top now this board does not have any usb-c on it for this jack right here to plug into so i had to order a usb-c card uh so i've got one of those coming in as well and then uh another thing i did um anymore when i build computers 
Um, I like to get the ones that have onboard Wi-Fi on the motherboard. It just it comes in handy, not just for a Wi-Fi connection in your house to place the computer, but usually because they, you know, include Bluetooth, too, which a lot of people are more and more using Bluetooth, not just, you know, for their mice and what have you, but for speakers. And it, so it re really comes in handy to have Bluetooth. So uh, one of the things I did there is I added a uh, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth card to this board so that uh, when I go to sell it off the new owner will also have Wi-Fi and Bluetooth in here in addition to the USB-C that I will be adding in here that's what's nice about ATX um, normally I like micro ATX size boards because they're just kind of just right with the size but um, ATX is great if you don't mind uh, having some expandability or if you want the expandability and in this case this uh, actually works out rather well for what I'm going to be building here with my old stuff. So, yeah, that's what we're doing there then. We're going to add some USB-C to this. We added that to there. Um, I was looking, uh, I've got, you know, tons of different brands of fans and types and shit and what have you and stuff that I'll probably never even use. But uh, I'll, I was looking at my fans to see what I had. I have uh, some up here. I should have enough to make 11 fans total in this uh case to fill it up with 11 like it it uh says it does um interfacing it all is going to be a bitch wow <laughs> and i'm gonna have to go through my manual again because it's actually been a long time even though this is my own board it's been a long time since i've uh i can remember what all is on this board um i'm it's not a concern, but I, I have to, you know, make sure it's all going to work right with all the uh, fan ports that I need. You know, you know, here's my CPU, there's my pump, sys fan there, and I can't remember where the rest of them are, so I'm going to look in my manual, make sure I uh, find them all first before I proceed. Um, so, yeah, this, this is how it's progressing along here. Uh, I think we're going to go AIO in here. I've got an awesome AIO uh, sent over to me by Deepcool. Uh, a while back, I got two different versions. One I had already uh, had reviewed, but uh, the next one I haven't reviewed, uh, not in the video anyways yet. But uh, we'll, we'll put that in the build here. It's uh, the deep cool AIO here coming up. But uh, let me let me cut this scene. I'm gonna play with this a little bit more. Um, for, I guess before I cut the scene, you can see I got the power supply in. Um, I think I might put the uh, RGB strip in here like I usually do on a lot of these builds. We'll see. Uh, we're we'll just having a little bit of fun with this. Let me cut this scene and we'll get back to you. Okay, I wanted to do a little bit of pre-testing here because I do intend to use these uh, Zalman fans that do come on Molex. And uh, I just want, kind of wanted to see how loud they were. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, I have nothing else in this computer for fans. I just have just the Zalmans hooked up right now. And I have a... Uh, Thing on the power supply here to trigger that let me shut up here so we can get a low on our decibel meter and uh, we'll see how loud these fans actually get so let me shut up here and uh, let's take a look at this meter okay 38.4 is our low uh, when I shut my mouth 38.4 and we'll see what it climbs up to when I flip on the um, fans. So you can see that it shoots up to about 50 decibels, which isn't, you know, too bad. Um, just me talking into my microphone, and I'm probably about, oh, say three feet away from the uh, pickup on the decibel meter there. Um, you can see it's not very loud. So it, it, it's not really too noisy, but it is kind of noticeable. Um, let me see if I can move my camera here a little bit. Um, 
get in here a little bit with my microphone. I'm going to take the microphone from my, my headset here, and I'm going to go in there, and I want you to listen to something. I don't know if if, if you'll be able to hear it um, in the video, but there's kind of a weird whine noise. Hold on. So I'm not sure if you could make it out there uh, or not, but um, you know they're 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 kind of quiet, but then again they're not. So a little disappointed in Zalman there on the Molex. Uh, other than that, so far I am loving this case. I am loving it so much. Uh, I I got a lot more to show you on this uh, as we're progressing along. A couple of uh, little aha things that I've discovered. Um, but anyways, let me cut this scene and we'll keep building. All right, so I'm progressing a little bit further with this uh, computer build so far, and I just wanted to point out a couple things to you. Uh, well, first of all, you can see that I got the uh, power supply. I got some vinyl wrap around the power supply, painted some red on there since we got a red board. Uh, I put an RGB strip in right here around that perimeter, going up a little bit. Um, as you can see... Uh, I've got three fans on the bottom, not two. Um, there was actually some screw holes right over in here where I could get three more screws to fit another fan in. So when Zalman says this case will hold 11 fans, uh, no, 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 no. It, this, this case will hold 12 fans. Uh, we turn that off there. So you can see three here, one, two, three there, three there, and three up on top. Wow, nice, awesome. <laughs> so this is going to look pretty badass uh, when it's finished. Anyways, um, I picked the GPU here. Now, I, I could have used my old GPU for my old computer in here, but um, I happen to have this RX 570 up on the shelf. Uh, I was going to use it uh, actually in a uh, Hackintosh build a while back. Um, but then I changed my mind and went with a different card. But anyways, when I picked up the card and I got it, um, I happened to notice that it had this, you know, black, you know, design on there with the red on there. And I thought that matched perfectly with this motherboard. Uh, it's just like, almost like they were made for each other. So, uh, I decided to pair this, uh, RX 570 in here with this board so it's looking pretty good so far. So I've got, you know, all my fans in here. All right, so let me cut this scene here. And uh, let's take a look at the back real fast. And I want to go over a couple things there. Okay, so I made a couple changes to the wiring here in the back. Um, you remember, of course, that it had those uh, straps that were going across here. Um, I eliminated those because they were actually kind of in the way here. You got to remember, we want to keep this kind of open right here so that this uh, luminance from these RGB fans will shine through because remember, that's got like that grating on the, on the side there. So we want to kind of keep this kind of nice and clear. So I kind of routed all the thicker stuff up on top here and strapped them down on the side and ran them like that so that they are out of the way uh, because you know I still have the extensions to, to, to run through in here um, I still have the RGB uh, controller to mount in here now you notice that I took out that uh, six pin or, or that six port uh, three pin RGB thing in there that comes with the case um, that's really, really, it's not up to snuff when we're talking 11, 12 fans here that I'm going to power plus some other RGB shit. Uh, yeah, that, that just does not have the power to do it. So I actually changed that out for a up here brand. And I actually kind of needed that too because this controller actually has the um, 
fan things in here for the uh, up here fans that I put in here. Now, the, the fans themselves are all, uh, let me find them. One of the leads for them. See, they're all three pin. I don't know if you can see that. Put my light there. These are all three pin. So they're not PWM. But this does have kind of like its own internal PWM. So what I did is, um, actually, I this, this back fan here in the back, that uh, Zalman brand, I took off that one and replaced that one with another up here fan. And so that one's coming up through here. So we got some PWM coming in through that one. Uh, I just kind of want to quiet this down a little bit. And so what I'm going to do is this back fan here and the controller here are wired to system fan one and system fan two. And so that leaves system fan three and four. And I'm going to use those for the AIO that's going to go on top. And plus, of course, the CPU out because it's a, it's a 360 AIO here. So that covers three fans all on PWM. Um, I like the up here stuff for uh, the colors and stuff. They're, they're pretty neat and they're pretty easy to work with and they're cheap. But I really, really don't trust them when it comes to uh, cooling an AIO and for their dependability in the long term. So what I'm going to use for the AIO is actually some Cougar stuff uh it's got kind of a different pattern it'll be up on top so we won't really be seeing this anyway since it's on top but you will see this on the side um i just kind of did a couple test fitting with a couple different types of uh, fans and stuff that i had and i decided the cougars will be the best uh for this build so it's, it's, it's kind of tacky here you know we're gonna have some cougars up on top some up here is all over the place here and in the front we're gonna have the uh, Zalman 140 millimeters here to make 12 fans total. A um, lot of RGB stuff going on here, plus uh, a couple more RGB things here. So it's progressing along. Uh, trying to keep this uh, as organized as possible. Uh, lots of room down here uh, so far uh, with what I'm working with. And, and I tell you what, the secret to building a good computer, guys, is don't tackle it all at once like if you see like in the very first scene you notice that i was wearing a different shirt so obviously i shot that scene at a different time than you know i'm shooting this scene say and that's just kind of really how, how you should do it in real life when it comes to building these computers like you know come back to it don't just stick with it and go oh, and give yourself a headache because I, you know, I, I, I read a lot of posts on Reddit from these guys that uh, are kind of starting out and they're kind of new to this. And they're, they got so many questions and, they, and they're so confused. And, and my best advice is just chill out, take your time, relax. It'll get done. And it'll turn out a lot better. I mean, like something like this, like with your, your cable organizing and stuff. Now, you'll notice like on my cable organizing, all my thicker uh, cables are right here. But all my fan cables are not attached to them. I, I, I say this all the time. When it comes to the fans, leave those separate. Because fans will always go out. You'll always end up having to change them anyways. That way, if you need to change them out, you can just snip the fan leads and leave uh, other stuff, and it's fine. So, yeah. Anyway, so let's cut this scene here, and uh, let me dick around a little more with this, and uh, we'll come back in the next scene. Okay, the new extensions came in, and I got those installed, so this is looking really, really nice now. Look at this. We got the all these right here on the uh, GPU, 24-pin, and EPS up on top there looking nice and it matches up real nice uh, i made a, a, a change again on this uh getting back down to this um i took off that red and i decided to switch that out for a different type of vinyl wrap that i had up on the shelf um this one's kind of like a holographic uh looking wrap um it makes a really really neat effect when the uh rgb hits it so that's pretty decent here now looking up on top let me tilt my camera here uh 
next is going to come the AIO. Now, this uh, was really, really impressive here. Again, Zalman is scoring some points here with me on this case. Uh, when it comes to putting an AIO in here, let me let me zoom in here so that you can see something when I do this. Um, now, typically from the top of your case down to here to where your memory is, you'll want about uh, 50 millimeters or about 55 millimeters of clearance. Um, basically, because you figure like a typical fan, say, like this, this is that Zalman fan here, uh, this is about 25 millimeters, and a typical AIO is also about 25, 30 millimeters in thickness. So you put that together, that's about 50, 55 millimeters of clearance that you need to put a... Uh, AIO in with the fan and not have it hit your memory here. So, you know, sometimes that could be a problem. You put an AIO in and then maybe you've got some really large memory. Uh, second here. Let's say. Say you got some Corsair Vengeance here, which is pretty tall, you know, on the memory. And you don't want it bumping your AIO. And that's always a concern on these cases. And this one, um, I'm going to show you this with my ruler on camera. There is about, I don't know if we can get this on camera, if you can see it, um, about 60 millimeters of clearance before it even touches the top part of the, the ram here. So, I mean, there is lots and lots of space here so yeah right about there 60 millimeters if you want to count where it go, goes to like this uh see right here this heat sink this could be a problem too it still clears out at about ugh, if i could bend this in here about 55 so yeah plenty of room that and it's really really wide right here right here so it actually, I mean, even if you do got like the tall height ram or whatever, and this right here, it's not going to be a problem. This is a really, really, really good design. Um, I'm really, really impressed with Zalman for this uh, case so far. Nice. Very, very nice. Uh, let me cut this scene here. We'll take one more look at that back. I'm going to show you one more thing. Uh, and then I'm going to toss the AIO in here. Okay, a quick look at the back before we get this all tuckered inside there. Um, I didn't mount the controller right here. It's a little, little, little thick for that wall, so I mounted it underneath here. So I got the RGB controller tucked in under there. Um, all the other wires, it, it looks really clean. You know, you don't see too many wires there. Let me uh, give you kind of a view of the back there. So it won't be too hard at all to close up. And as you can see, we have this exposed here so that when we do put the, the lid on and that side on, we'll be able to see the uh, RGB coming in real, real well from here. We shouldn't have anything blocking it off. Should shine really, really nice. And we still got uh, room down here for an extra SSD if we wanted, a couple extra SSDs there if we wanted. Uh, like I said, this case is really, really impressing me. Now, I think when I do go to review this on uh, Amazon, I am going to five-star this case. But, I mean, again, getting back to this, uh, Molex, come on, Zalman, your, your, your reputation proceeds you on that. Um, come on. All right, but uh, let me cut the scene here. I'm going to do a little more building, and we'll get back to it. All right, so I got my uh, build done, and uh, so we'll start off doing my usual, and we'll start off with uh, Task Manager here, and we'll show you the specs on this computer before I show you the uh, finale on this. Um, under CPU, you see this one is running an AMD Ryzen 7 2700X. Memory, we are running 32 gigs of Corsair DDR3200. Uh, Actually, I think it's set to like uh, 2993 right now. Uh, DDR3200 uh, 
Vengeance RGB memory in here. Disk Zero is a Sabrent Rocket Nano. It's a little uh, 2242 uh, one terabyte Sabrent Rocket. Tiny, but uh, pretty damn quick. Anyways, uh, GPU in this, we're running a NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1070. Now, I switched it out. Uh, I was having some problems with that uh, RX 570. And so I was like, ah, bummer. So I thought, well, you know what? I guess we'll go 1070 instead. <laughs> it's what I had <laughs> to work with. I didn't want to go new because this, this is actually going to be a flip build sold off on eBay. And uh, anyways... So I put a uh, GeForce uh, GTX 1070 in here. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, we'll look at uh, Cinebench. Cinebench on the multi-core, it scored a 10,298. On the single core, it scored a 1,098. Let's see. In Heaven, we scored a 188. Frames per second with a max of 374. And let's see. And then on Crystal Disk Mark with that little uh, Sabrent rocket, it did a 2506 on the read with a 1949 write. So that's the stats basically on this computer. Um, so now that we've done that, tell you what, let me switch here. Uh, and we will switch off to that computer. Let me turn off. Which one is it? This one. And turn on the 4K cam. There we go. Uh, so here's the completed build. Let me back it up a little bit there so it'll focus. Uh, it's kind of hard to get it all in there. <laughs> but as you can see, we've got... 12 fans going on there we got three on the side there three on the bottom three on the top and then the two there and one back there 12 fans total in here uh, you can see that uh, infinity mirror what's this the lt720 yeah it's the uh, lt720 infinity series from deep cool that i'm using in here pretty badass uh uh AIO. I, when I was running the uh, Cinebench tests with it and, and Heaven and what have you, um, the highest temperature I've seen it go up to on that Ryzen was 66C. And I was like, that's good. That's, you know, awesome. Uh, let's have a look down here. Uh, I don't know how well this is going to pick up on camera. It's 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 kind of one of those things where it, 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 it's it's kind of cooler if you see it live. And that's this um, hologram uh, wrap here that I got going on on the uh, power supplies uh, window. It's really, really neat the way it just sparkles and just kind of shoots off everywhere. Uh, this glass in here is it looks like it's you know it's a darkened glass uh, you know obviously so it kind of darkens up that rgb a little bit which is kind of good because this really just sparkles out uh with that glass off in there but with that glass on it looks uh pretty nice and and uh this this case i'm loving this case there is so much room on this case let me move here a little bit now one more thing i want to show you and i haven't talked about this yet on this case is this right here it's got a filtration system on it right here that um of course will you know capture dust and what have you that you can take out pull out clean out slide back in there so that's pretty nice that it has that um all right and then uh, we'll let you have a look at the top there uh there's the uh front panel tell you what let's let's uh show you a little bit more of the rgb on here um let me push the buttons on here see if we can go to a different color besides here we go there's a white there's a green there's blue let's see if we can get kind of a multi effect going on here somewhere there's a lot of them to choose from here we go we'll switch it to kind of a rainbow thing going on here uh, 
So yeah, we got like a rainbow effect there now. The, now you'll notice that the lights aren't synchronized on the uh, memory, but you know that's just kind of one of those things that you lose out on when you go with like the RGB on the case itself. But that's all right; it, it, it looks pretty cool, right? Right. <laughs> all right. So yeah, um, I think when I review this case, I'm absolutely, positively going to give this the five stars because I've thought about it and thought about it. But again, um. Do not like the the Molex fans in there. Other than that, uh, this is a nice case. It is very very roomy. Um, I don't know if we can see it. Maybe we can if I put my camera up there. That uh, I guess you can't really see it too well. But yeah, there is like plenty of space up in there. So you can see how like the uh, the memory module is not even close to get to where the fans are. So I don't have to worry about those bumping in there. Got all that room in there in this case uh, for the motherboard, and that's uh, yeah, awesome. So uh, again, uh, I want to thank Fantex for sending this case on over to me. Uh, this is pretty badass. It's it's pretty awesome. Um, I got another one coming up. I don't know how well, I'm, uh, how fast I'm gonna whip that. How well? How quick I'm gonna whip that video out? I can never talk right. Uh, I don't know how quick I'm gonna whip that video out, but uh, that one's gonna be coming up soon. That one's actually gonna get sold off too. It's got, gonna be another flip uh, build that uh, with another case that I'll be talking about. But anyways, this is the Zalman Z10. Uh, I'm gonna leave a link down to it in the description. Uh, I'll talk to you guys later. I'll see you all in the next build that's coming up. Uh, everybody have a great weekend. Have a great Christmas if I don't have the video out before then. Uh, bye bye guys.